COVID has affected everybody around the world. And in particular, it has been so stressful for families on so many different levels. Number one, all of our routines, um, going to school, going to work, being able to go to the park have been completely disrupted. It's also, of course, been so difficult because many families have faced illness, have faced death of their loved ones. So when we're thinking now about what happens after COVID, what's, what's happening, gonna happen for our children? I anticipate that a lot of children, when they return to regular school, if they haven't been in school, may have a sort of a short-term sort of uprising of, of challenges. I mean, th sometimes we call this regression, that things that the child has developed and been able to do, that they like sleep in their own bed or sleep through the night or do things that they've been able to do independently. Sometimes when a child is facing new challenges, they might go backwards a little bit. I think the thing is to not get too worried about that, but to recognize that and recognize that as a sign that your child is feeling overwhelmed and that you want to then think about watching their behavior, talking with them, and then if it persists, getting help from a mental health professional or your pediatrician to see if there's something going on underneath that needs um, more intensive care. Thank you.